will you support it? That's the main thing. It's not about getting Sen Hag, it's not about announcing, it's not about twerking for him. Getting the manager is one thing. Will you support him? So it's confirmed. A new era begins, you know. Moyes, Van Hal, Mourinho, God, I mean, um, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, Ralph Ragnarok. So, you, so this is, I mean, my God, those are a lot of managers, bro. Those are a lot of managers that these guys are now, are now getting. And my thing here is, is that um, Ten Hag has a philosophy, a very distinct, specific philosophy. So I know that already the football will be, will be, will be better. But there's a caveat. Because this is a step in the right direction. Because right now, United they don't have a character. They don't really have a real personality. And that's not only because of Ralph. That's because there is not the right support of the match. Because see, why Pep and Klopp works? Because they gave given the support. We don't do a little, little video where I sort of explain this in, in a lot more detail, man. But you have to give guys their proper support, man. And I think that um, for Ten Hag, if Ten Hag can only work or even begin to work if he has full cut blanche as to who gets sold, who gets brought in. So if he wants Maguire to get the heck out and just enter the fridge, that has to happen. Because he has to have his defenders, his midfielders, his keeper, his striker, the guys on his bench, the guys who, who, who come in. And he has to have full control so that the team from back to front, every single position, right back to front, central midfielder, as, as striker, is all fully accounted for. So when Ten Hag says jump, the scouting guys, transit guys have to say how high. That's how this thing works because for, for Pep and Klopp, they get what they want. Klopp and Pep says, I want this guy, this guy, this guy. They get scotted. They find a way and they get scotted. Well, with Klopp, there's a little bit of time drinking and so forth because eventually he got his, his players. Because I'm sure, because look, anybody who's played in a management game will know that when I play football manager, the first thing I do, the first thing I do before I look at the team, no, first thing I do, football manager, I look at the team, I'm like, wow. Boom, boom, boom. That's not doing good because I have a philosophy. I'm like, okay, I'm, I want to play 4 3 3. I don't play through the middle, I don't have through balls. So I know that when I go into the market, I want to have a defender who can play all positions. I want to have a good DM who's good at tackling. And I want to have a creative playmaker who plays in number 10 role. And I want to have guys who are good at making the movements runs because I've got a specific way of playing. So I couldn't go to the market. I know I want this guy, this guy, this guy with these particular attributes so that my team from back to front plays how I want them to, to play. You can't force Maguire onto Ten Hag. You can't force um, Bruno onto um, Ten Hag because maybe he doesn't want them. You know, because he has a vision of the kinds of players that he wants. And that is the only way this, this is going to work. So if he gets that support, I know you, you can't guarantee you trophies, but at the very least, it's a step in the right direction. So the Ten Hag era begins. Uh, guys, tell me in the comments below, do you think, do you think this is the manager? That sucks. Do you think this is the man that can actually emulate Marina actually win a trophy for United? What do you guys think? Like that vid, subscribe if you're new. One love.